Hello Chris, and uh, we have asked you to reappear in the corner of things, to give the light on the issue of the dangers of mobile phone radiation. Well, I'm not going to say an awful lot. This is a message to the children mainly, because children have developing bodies and so their cells are replicating all the time. <clears throat> and when your cell is replicating, it's more likely to get damaged. The DNA is more likely to get damaged, and that can lead to all sorts of conditions. But mainly with mobile phones, it leads to cancer of the tissue, which is close to where the mobile phone is. Now, we, we have had mobile phones since about 1992. And they used to be big, clunky things. And now everybody's got one. And all the children have got one. And it's become their little friend. And they communicate all the time. And we're told that we are going to soon have the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things. So not only are people going to be connected on mobile phones, but things are going to be connected to people. So your car will be connected to you and your central heating system. And um, we will become a sort of internet community like the Borg, like sort of everyone's totally connected with everyone else. Which may be a good thing. I personally think it's a bad thing. But anyway, you can argue that it's a good thing. But there's a downside. There's a big problem. In, at the moment, we've got 4G. We've had all the different generations of mobile phones. And each time, in order to establish sufficient bandwidth, sufficient information carrying capacity, you have to have more energy. So everywhere you live now, energy is being beamed through your body. It's coming from everywhere. There are mobile phone towers everywhere. You can't even see most of them. They're actually disguised as advertising signs, or they're behind some kind of logo that you look at and it says, so and says cafe, and behind the cafe is, a, is, a, is an aerial, is, a, is an emitting aerial which is producing radio frequency energy, producing microwave energy, the same energy that you use to cook food on. Now the problem is this. But it has always been known, right from the beginning, that these, that these energies cause biological effects. They cause harmful biological effects which lead, lead to, to cancer and other, other serious health conditions. And in children who have been exposed to mobile phone radiation, the, the probability of, of cancer is increasing. And even the World Health Organization now, recently, wrote down that... <laughs> You've just driven, driven away one guy who didn't want to hear this. <laughs> this is the problem. Okay? You must not. And this you is can't message, see it, it's in black. This is a message. Put it on the white side. It's a message, message to the children. Okay? This is the problem. Your mobile phone is the problem. And it produces invisible energy. And that invisible energy can ultimately kill you. And the World Health Organization now has now categorized radio frequency energy from these phones as a possible carcinogen. That's, that's because they're being conservative. It is a definite carcinogen. It causes cancer close to the site where you use it. So if you hold it to your ear and you say, Oh, hello, George. I'm having a really lovely time. And um, how are you? Oh, I'm all right. No, I'm walking down the road. Oh, so you're walking. Oh, I can see you walking down the road. Yes, oh, hello. You know, that, all the time it's near your head, is beaming this energy into your head. And, these, and people get increased uh, brain tumours. That's the main thing from holding it next to your head. You get two things. You get brain tumours, and these are fatal. They will kill you. You will die of one of those brain tumours. Or you will get a lymphoma. And that's a, that's a, a localised tumour which can also kill you, it's like a lump on your neck. Or you will get a salivary gland tumour which can also kill you. All of these things will kill you in horrible ways. So if you want to use a mobile phone, if you have to use a mobile phone, if you're hooked on your mobile phone, then what you have to do is put it on loudspeaker. So put it on speakerphone and hold it here. Hold, because the further away you hold it, the safer you are. The energy is worse when it's touching you and it's close to you and it's 
much safer if you hold it away from you like that. So that's what you must do. So this is my message to you children. If you don't want to end up dead, what you have to do is hold your mobile phone away from you if you use it. Okay? Because, because there's, no, there's no argument now. There is absolutely no argument. The number of research papers that have been written, the number of studies that have been done on people, on mice, on you name it, have shown that these things cause cancer. There was a famous study from, from California where they were looking at breast cancer. And uh, what they found is that the women with breast cancer had, were more probable to have been ones that popped their mobile phone down the middle of their bra. So they would walk around with the mobile phone there, with their bra. There's their tits, there's their bra. Okay? And they would get cancer of the breast. And if you wear it in your, if you have it in your pocket, then make sure that it's not close to your, uh, to your gonads, you know, to your sexual organs, otherwise you will become infertile. It will just destroy all the, ch the, the, the little eggs that you've got inside you, girls, and the sperm that you've got inside you, boys, and you will never have any babies. Or if you do have babies, they will be more likely to die, or their children will be more likely to die. It's a serious, serious hazard, and it's getting worse. With 5G, it's getting worse. So please do something about your mobile phone exposure. And then there is this thing that uh, they don't switch off the Wi-Fi in the phone. They go around with it all the time and they don't so switch off the data receiver. And they go with it all the time, all the day long. And uh, they f don't even, they are not even informed that uh, it could be kept off. So you can keep it in your handbag, all right? Don't keep it in your pocket. Put it in your bag, carry your bag. Yeah, and uh, it would be a good idea to suggest them to put on the Wi-Fi or data just a couple of times. Well, you can do that, but they want to be online all the time. Every second hour they could listen, put it on. Listen, the best thing to do is not to bother with it, right? Don't use it all the time. Just use it as a phone, and when you use it as a phone, phone somebody. And, and switch off the data and so Wi-Fi. Anyway, it's, ho it's hopeless. They need to do it because they've got to have Facebook and Twitter and all this Bloody stuff, yeah, but I use Facebook and Twitter very well too. But I just uh, put on uh, the Wi-Fi or data okay, sometimes, okay. and most of the time th they are switched off, and then the phone is safe, isn't it? Yeah, if it's switched off, it's if, if no, um, no, it's not safe. So, it's, can you describe for us what is going on there when Wi-Fi and data are switched on? What happens with the waves? Is, is there some kind of wave receiver generator yeah, in the phone? But it's doing that all the time anyway. But if the Wi-Fi and data are switched off? It's still communicating all the time. But not on that level. N on a lower level, it's still... It, on, on a lower level, it is always on. It's always communicating unless you take the battery out, okay? As soon as this is on, it starts to communicate with the local tower and if the tower is a long way away if the tower is close to you and you've only got like and you've got like five bars then the energy that it that it beams out is very small very small but if it's only got one bar or if it's got no bars and it's trying to communicate with with some place that's in the middle of nowhere then it's beaming out huge amounts of energy exactly and that's what it doesn't matter whether it's on wi-fi or whatever it's on it's just like trying it's trying to say hey 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 Hey, and, and, and it does that all the time. And you can actually, if you have a machine, you can hear it doing that. It goes, hey, 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 all the time. But also, if you are in a train or in a elevator where there is a metal box, it yeah. will also beam extreme of amounts. Course. Yes, yes, of course, because it's because it can't, it can't, it can't, it can't talk to its mummy. You see, yeah. it's kind of talking to its mummy all the time. Okay, and if it can't talk to its mummy, it shouts. It shouts. And so if you've got it close to you and it's shouting, then, it, then all of that shouting energy is going into your body and it's smashing up your DNA and it's altering the calcium channels through the, cells, through, through, through the cell membrane. It's smashing, smashing you up, you know? It's like somebody coming along with, with injections all the time. Every time it goes, hey, it gives you an injection of poison. Hey, another injection of poison. Hey, another injection. All the time you've got this on. It's sort of beaming your cells away. It's smashing them up, yeah, of course. And then a proportion of those cells will be sufficiently damaged. They won't be totally killed. They'll be damaged sufficient to then go on and become cancer. Then you die. So children, this is not a joke. This is serious. 
Um, it is uh, even called the weapon of mass destruction. Well, I'm not going there. But what you, when you, uh, there's no way of turning this back, all right? We, 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 this, no, there, yes, there no is. You could it forbid back. it. Yeah, but it's not going to happen. You could forbid um, <clears throat> uh, G5. Yes, you could, and you should do. They should do. They shouldn't roll out G5. And who wants the Internet of Things? I mean, I go into the supermarket now, and I mean, soon you won't even have to go to the checkout. That each little, little thing that you buy will have a radio frequency tag, you know, and you just walk out the supermarket and it'll be automatically billed to your bank, okay? Yeah. I mean, that's an inevitable extension of all of this. But there the, are the, countries the, the, where they forbid uh, mobile phones in schools. Yeah, Italy. The Russians are onto this too, they also know about it. I think it was Netherlands too. Yeah. But in England, everybody now in the school is taught through a, a, a laptop. Because it's not just the mobile phones, these laptops produce this stuff at the same time, you know. When, on Wi-Fi, the laptop has a little little uh, antenna in it and it pumps this stuff out. So don't put it on your lap, put it on the table. Okay? And those uh, things that are uh, screen uh, mo screen computers, what what is the name of the screen? The screen? Sheet. The sheet, the sheet screens, computers. Those screens are okay, but if it's a computer... They then... don't even have uh, the fast line internet. They have only Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get it. Uh, no, so... but at least they're, they're, they're far away from you. That's the point. They're not sitting on your lap. It's you have to hold it. It's still... Yeah, but you don't hold it next to your head. It, th this radiation falls off quite quickly with distance. Square of the dis inverse of the square of the distance. So it's, it's when but it's they live with them, you know, they love them. It, it becomes like your closest friend, the look, parents are at home, anyway, the, the, parents are working. The thing is, what you do is you don't have it on you, very close to you. That's all you have to remember. That's all you have to remember. Is and have it very close the to you. amount of time you use them is very important too. Of course. Anyway, I think we're done. We, we, we don't want, if we ramble on forever, nobody will listen to it. Okay? Yeah. It's just one simple signal. One simple message to the planet. Do not hold your mobile phone to your head. Do not put it in your pocket. That's and all you need to know. And switch off as much as possible. And well, put you... it on rarely as possible. And don't love your phones. Love the people around you. Well, that of course. Because the, that is a psychological Oh no! Condition. Well, but, that, but but look, that's another argument altogether. Nevertheless, it has to be mentioned. Okay. Thanks so much, Christopher. All right. It was Dieter Rietumar who was interviewing Chris. We love you. Take care.